The best thing about having a session on a weekend is 2 p.m. and I'm already setting up for the night. I'm really looking forward to this one. Hey everybody, Angus Wong here with another comparison video. And tonight, we're gonna look at a general purpose broadband light pollution filter. Now, what these filters do is that they block off a very specific but sort of broad region along the visible light spectrum. Um, Historically, a lot of them block off the 550 nanometers to 650 nanometers region. And that is because a lot of the uh, traditional sodium-based street lamp gives off a yellowish to orange glow, specifically in that region. So a lot of the filters, they simply block off that yellowish orange portion of the visible light spectrum. Now. There are some filters out there, newer ones, that are starting to block off the LED-based street lamps that are starting to populate a lot of the cities. And they give off a bluer, whiter light. And I believe that's in the region of around 450 nanometers. That's gonna be your, you know, mostly your blues. Um, so one of the benefits of these filters is that they retain a lot of the natural colors coming off from your target because they're, they're still letting in a ton of light, unlike dual narrowband filters that I talked about last time, where they only let in H-alpha and, you know, oxygen-3. So these filters are great for virtually everybody under most situations, except for the full moon uh, and for any targets. Uh, but they will specifically excel with galaxies and reflection nebulae because there's a ton of natural colors there. Um, and with that, I'll go over the three filters we'll be using tonight. So the three filters that we'll be using tonight are going to be IDIS, LPS, D1, D2, and the Optalom L-Pro. Now, they all share a very similar transmittance graph and that they basically all block off the regions within 550 nanometers to 650 nanometers at that sodium-based orange-yellow-ish glow. With the exception of IDIS LPSD2, because in addition to the sodium-based street lamps that that filter will block off, IDIS specifically redesigned D2 from D1 to block off the LED based street lamps as well along the 450 nanometers. So, uh, it, it, so it cuts off that bluish region of the visible light spectrum. And well, knowing that, I already have some thoughts about that filter, um, but I'll let the uh, comparison and the pictures uh, do the talking instead. In tonight's comparison, I will be using my Astrotech AT11580T. This is a triplet apochromatic refractor. 
Um, and I'm going to try to be as, uh, as consistent as possible. So then, therefore, my uh, object will be the same throughout the night. And my camera setting will also be the same. Uh, that includes the exposure time and the ISO setting. Now, at the end of the night, I'm going to try to keep my total integration time as close as possible. And I think the only real influence that you guys may see would be the location of the object throughout the night sky. Now, I will be using Orion as my, uh, as my target. And Orion for me actually starts pretty low in the sky. Um, and I have maybe an hour or two where it is at its highest. And then after that, uh, it sort of disappears behind my rooftop. So that may be the only influence you guys will see uh, in this comparison. Um, but at the end of the night, I hope that it will be as close as possible and it will help you guys make a better purchasing decision. Now, eventually I will make a video to review my uh, Astrotech AT115 EDT. But in the meantime, any positive thoughts that you guys want to associate with this awesome refractor? Here's my quick answer. Yes. Maybe this is my first year doing astrophotography and I don't really understand the seasons yet, but getting data around the, the month of December and January felt like pulling teeth. Um, but I was eventually able to get a night where I can take all three different sessions using all three different filters so that my comparison will be as fair as possible. And <clears throat> I do want to talk about why I decided to use Orion and that is because I think Orion is a great target for actually broadband and not narrowband uh, because there's a lot of natural colors uh, within the uh, Orion Nebula and also the nearby Running Man Nebula there's a good amount of faint blue so I thought that it was a perfect target for uh, testing out broadband general purpose light pollution filter. Uh, and then now we'll go over some of the results. So I'm going to talk about the IDIS LPS-D1 and the Optalon L-Pro first. 
And that is because if you remember from earlier that their uh, transmittance graphs are almost identical. They both block off the 550 to 650 nanometers region of the visible light spectrum, that orangish yellow glow. And so I would expect that their images to be quite similar. Um, and that is indeed the case. Um, if you look at their images, I think they look almost identical. Um, even when I was doing the post-processing, I thought to myself, I, I, I have a hard time seeing which one is which. But <clears throat> if you really look into them, there is a slight difference. And it's, it's neither good or bad. It's really just personal preference. So with the Optolon L Pro, I can see that, you know, within the Orion Nebula and the surrounding region, it's picking up a little bit more red, just a little bit, just a bit more of that H-alpha response. Whereas the Itis LPS-D1, it's not picking up as much H-alpha, but you know, I'm, I'm being extremely picky here. Uh, and I only know that because I did the processing. Uh, and I think that if you were to look at the two pictures side by side, and if I don't point it out, I think most people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Now, overall, I think that both of these filters give off a very neutral, true to life, true color rep representation of the night sky. It's just that I think the L Pro picks up a little bit more red, a little bit more H alpha, Whereas in the case of IDIS LPSD1, similar story, extremely neutral, extremely true to color, um, but it's got a little bit, it picks up a little bit more blue. So, you know, it's really your preference. Do you prefer to have a tiny bit more H alpha or do you prefer to have a tiny bit more blue? Um, and like I said, um, I think these are both great filters. If you have one or the other, you're in great hands. Um, and if you're trying to decide one or the other as a, as a purchase, then just, you know, think it through, you know, do you want a little bit more H alpha or do you prefer to have a little bit more blue in your pictures? It's, I, I honestly, between these two, I think they're a toss up. So, and with that, we'll, uh, ah. We'll go over to the IDES LPS D2. <sighs> um, note the hesitation. I'm gonna talk about the IDES LPS D2 and I have a hard time recommending it if you're looking for a broadband light pollution filter because what they were trying to do when they, you know, revised it from D1 uh, by <clears throat> blocking off that 450 nanometers region, that bluish uh, glow coming off of the LED street lamps. I think that they've done a disservice to the filter because as I was processing it, I noticed there was a bit of a drop off in the blue response by quite a bit. Now. If I were to put the pictures up and compare just overall, um, it's not a big difference. Uh, like I said, all three filters do a great job, but <clears throat> I may regret doing this because everyone can see how noisy my images are. But if I were to zoom in on the Running Man portion of the images, and do another comparison between all three filters, I think you will see what I saw was that the IDIS LPS D2 had a, well, I don't know if I should, uh, I don't know if I should use the word significant, but it is significant to me that there was a bit, there was, uh, there was less blue with, I, uh, with the IDIS LPS D2 compared to D1 or the L Pro. And I kind of think that's a big problem because, you know, the whole point of these general purpose broadband filter is to pick up natural colors. And 
one of the few colors that I really enjoy picking up is the color of blue. Uh, Pleiades, uh, the blue spiral arms of many galaxies. And just looking at, these, at this comparison with D2, and if I just only look at the Running Man portion of the, of the images, I'm seeing less blue with D2. So, <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like this was the case of doing too much. Um, you had a gray filter in the form of D1, and then you decided to cut off the LED portion the 450 nanometers uh, region. Um, I, I I don't fault them for do for doing that because there are a lot more LED street lamps being installed in the cities and suburban areas. But I'm I'm not sure if this is the way to do it because just looking at the pictures, I'm 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 serious. I'm I I want I want my blues and. The simple fact that D2 cuts off a good amount of blues, I, I'm not going to use it, so therefore I'm not going recommend to recommend it to other people. Um, and this is kind of a bummer because I really wanted to like this filter. You know, it's, 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 it's new, it's revised, and you know, it does the one thing that a lot of us are starting to struggle with, and that is LED based sky glow but i don't know i just i can't i cannot deal with the lack of blue response i'm not saying that all the blues is gone but if i were to compare between the you know l pro and d1 there is just less blue and so with that I'll leave it up to you which filter you like most. Um, you heard my thoughts about, you know, what I thought about all these th uh, about all three filters. And once again, I really think that if you have, if you already have any one of these, you're in great hands. And this is really more of a case of, well, if I have to make a purchase, you know, which one would you pick? And so, having said all that. I hope you guys found this uh, video useful and I hope that you know I was able to help you make a better purchasing purchasing decision and until next time um, I hope that the rain will go away uh, but for the rest of you guys clear skies <laughs>